Hi, Dr. Josh Jarvis. Today I'm going to show you how I made the Lego MRI setup I used in my What is MRI video. Now, one of the things I wanted to illustrate in that video was sort of the sheer magnetic power of MRI. And there's all these images and videos out there of times where people mistakenly took metal objects into the MRI room and they got sucked into the machine. However, since I don't own any of those images, I figured I would just make my own MRI machine out of Legos and uh, create my own MRI disasters. And since I soon found out that it was going to be a whole lot of work, I thought I'd uh, share a little bit of the process with you. So let's get started. So we'll start off by making the MRI machine. Now here's sort of a inspiration picture here. That's sort of what we're going for. We'll see how we do. So that's the MRI machine. I think it turned out pretty good, pretty close to the inspiration image. You'll notice that this side it's uh, sort of incomplete and there's some, uh, some different colors. That's because uh, I'm not going to be filming from that angle anyway and uh, I wanted to conserve some of my Legos for other things I needed to build. Okay, so now I'm going to build the control room and I'll do that by building sort of a walled off section here at the front. So that's the wall of the control room there. Uh, I used a couple different colors and sort of a stripe pattern uh, to make sure that I had enough to finish it. Um, I made the wall nice and tall too so that uh, when I'm filming it gives the illusion that it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Um, I'm not actually going to build a ceiling to any of this. Uh, and uh, most of these Legos are, are either from when I was a kid or there's some sets that I got from my children. Uh, but when I was a kid I played with Legos so much that uh, people would say, oh, well, you should be an engineer. And so I'd go around telling people, I'm going to be an engineer when I grow up. You know, I'm six or seven. And then uh, one year for my birthday, my grandmother bought me a train conductor's hat. I'm not quite sure she understood. Okay, moving on. Now I'm going to make a desk for the control room where the, the techs would sit and, uh, and run the MRI machine. chairs and there we go all right so there's our desk area you see there's a couple computers a phone and right there there's a microphone for talking to the patient while they're uh, getting scanned and see this red button on the wall that's the button to quench the magnet now I don't know if we talked about quenching in our MRI video but quenching is essentially a way to shut down the magnetic field and it's something you only want to do in an emergency because it can be pretty damaging to the equipment and, and potentially expensive all right, so now uh, I'm going to work on the floor. Now, since one of the scenes I'm going to be doing uh, involves a floor buffer, I wanted a nice, smooth tile floor. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have uh, enough flat tiles to do that, but fortunately, Amazon did. So let's get to work.
So that's our tile floor. I think it turned out pretty good. You can see I didn't quite have enough to cover the whole thing, but I think uh, we have enough coverage for where the camera is going to be pointing. And if there's any uh, bare spots that are going to show up on film, I can always move some tiles around. I also added this colored pattern uh, to make things a little more interesting. I didn't have that great of a selection of colors, but uh, I think it's good enough for a hospital floor. Okay, so to finish off the MRI room, uh, I built a back and side wall out of some scrap melamine. So I just put that in place there and I think we'll be uh, ready to film. Okay, so we built the MRI machine and everything, but how do we make the various metal objects look like they're flying towards the machine as it being pulled by a strong magnet? Well, my idea was to build this hinged platform just out of some scrap lumber, which allows the whole set to tilt like so. Then all we have to do is drop whatever object from the MRI machine and then run the video in reverse. This will make it look like it's flying toward the machine. Now I made the whole thing hinged in the other direction as well, and this is because I wanted it to look like it was coming from the doorway, which is off to the side. Let's test it out and see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, we have the whole thing set up on the tilting platform. It's tilted both vertically and horizontally. And if we take this makeshift plumb bob that I made out of a nut and some string and place it through the MRI machine, you can see that the trajectory goes straight through the door. Now, does it have to be this precise? Yes. Yes, it does. Now, if we take something else, say like this Lego wheelchair, and loop some thread around it, just loosely, we should be able to let go of one strand while yanking the other and allow it to fall freely. Let's see how it works. Pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna get the good camera set up at the right angles and uh, we'll see how this works. Well, that worked out pretty good, but we're still missing something. Sound effects. That's right, we gotta go do some Foley work. No, not that kind of Foley, it's gross. Let's go. Okay, so now we have the sound, the action, all that's missing is the dialogue, but I'll spare you having to watch me play with little Lego people and do the voices. And we'll skip ahead to the final product. I present to you the director's cut of Lego MRI. It's a director's cut because it's longer and it has a whole bunch of backstory that nobody really cares about. Enjoy. It was the darkest time of my life. I spent most days either passed out drunk or sobbing uncontrollably over all I had lost. The day I received the call, I was going to kill myself with a stick of dynamite. Then everything changed. Hello? Yeah, this is him. 
Oh, that's wonderful news. Yeah, I, I, I can start right away. Sure. Yep, I'll be there tomorrow morning. Hey, new guy. I need you to take this wheelchair down to MRI. Sure. Anywhere in particular I should put it? I don't care. Just get it out of here. Whistling in an oblivious sort of way. Totally unaware of anything that's going to happen. Hey, you. Go clean the floors down in MRI. Yes, sir. Right away. Well, I'm hot-blooded, chicken and sea. I got a fever of 103. Hey, take this go-kart down to MRI. Why does a hospital have a go-kart? Just do it. Hey, before you leave today, I need you to take this barrel full of dangerous sharp metal implements down to MRI. Okay. Wait. Yes, King Triton? Take my trident down there, too. No problem. Why do these things keep happening to me? Is it just that I'm an idiot, or do I have some sort of problem forming long-term memories like that guy in the movie Memento? Either way, all I know is I'll keep taking metal stuff down to MRI as long as they keep asking me. More than $14 million in equipment repairs and legal fees, and I still have a job. Now who's the idiot? It's the, the hospital. The, the hospital is the idiot, is what I was implying. Did that come across? If I sit like this, it's like I'm a street smart teacher that's going to change the lives of those inner city kids that everyone else has given up on. So anyway, thanks for watching, and let it never be said that Josh Jarvis won't put a ridiculous amount of work into a 20 second bit for an educational MRI video that nobody's going to watch. And if you made it this far, why don't you go ahead and just take a look at the MRI video that all this is featured in. And while you're doing all that, you might as well just subscribe because by now you're already a dedicated viewer. Anyway, I have no uh, real plan on how to wrap this video up.